Say we'd like to do a dissection of the arch of fasciculus. What I like to do is to begin by making my T1 a little bit more opaque and bringing up my RGB underneath. What you can then do is zoom in on the sagittal view and begin to look for where your arcuate fasciculus would be. You can see the associative track very clearly here. And what we're going to want to do is place three regions of interest in respectively the Broca's region, uh, not specifically the area, in Wernicke's region, as well as Gershwin's region. So what I like to do is to create a selection ellipsoid. I'll change the dimensions of this selection ellipsoid manually, so I know I'm really working with a sphere. And I'll move it to where I want it to be respectively close to Broca's region of interest. I'll do the same for Wernicke's region of interest. I'll change the dimensions. And then I'll place it to where I want it to be, which is about here. I'll move this one a little bit back. And then for our final region, we'll create our third ellipsoid. We'll um, change the dimensions again to be 15. And we'll place it in our region of interest here, about there. So now what we can then do is look at our regions, see that they're about where we want it to be, and create a track group based on these three regions. Don't forget to select Show All Streamline so you have everything that goes through this region. And this would be our very rough result. Obviously, you can adjust to make sure that you have more or less. So here, it might be valuable to move this selection cuboid, which was for the Gershwin's area, a little bit more forward to make sure we're really hitting the area we want. 